Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to dynamically populate a select menu. On the screen I have to select menus. When the page first loads, the left select menu is active, allowing us to choose a country, however the right select menu is disabled. It only gets enabled when a country is selected. For example, if I choose a country, say England, we see the cities of England displayed in the right menu. If I choose Spain, we see the cities of Spain. If I select choose a country again, the cities menu is disabled and the choose a city option is displayed. Ok, now let's see how we do this. First, let's look at where the data comes from. In my projects folder, I have a file named countries.json. Inside this file, there is an object where the properties represent countries and the values are arrays containing their respective cities. The logic here is straightforward. We will use JavaScript to fetch this object, display the counters in the first select menu and based on the selected country, display the corresponding cities in the second select menu. Next, I'll show you the index.html file and its contents. In the index file, I have a form element containing two select menus. The first select menu has its name attribute set to countries. The second select menu has its name attribute set to cities and is initially disabled. Both select menus are empty and will be populated using JavaScript. However, the cities menu contains a single option tag to display the choose a city option when the page first loads. Finally, I have a script tag, script tag that points to my JavaScript file. Now before jumping to the JavaScript file, let's see how the select menus appear on the screen. As we can see, both menus are visible, but nothing is functional yet. So let's move to the JavaScript file and start coding. The first thing that I will do is target the country select menu and the city select menu. To do that, I must first access the form element. I will use the document.forms expression, which provides a collection of all the form elements on the page. Since there is only one form on the page, I can access it using its index, which is zero. Next, I will create a variable named countries dropdown and store a reference to the country select menu, and another variable named cities dropdown to store a reference to the cities select menu. I will also create a variable named JSON data to store the data that we fetch from the JSON file so I can access them globally. Ok, now we'll use the fetch method to retrieve the data from the JSON file. The fetch method works asynchronously and returns a promise. Therefore, we need to use the then method to process the response and convert and convert the JSON data to a JavaScript object using the JSON method. However, we still cannot work with the data at this point because the JSON method also returns a promise. To handle this, we need to chain another then method to extract the JavaScript object from the response's body. Inside the callback function of the second then method, I will assign the JavaScript object to the JSON data variable. At this stage, I will also call a function named getCounties passing the JSON data variable as an argument. The getCounties function will populate the country select menu with a list of countries. So, let's write the function. Inside the function, I will create a variable named out and set its value to an empty string. Next, I will append to this variable the first option element, which says choose a country. I will leave its value empty because in the next function, I will check for an empty country value to disable the city select menu. Before I continue, let me show you the JavaScript object that the JSON data variable holds. This will give you a visual reference to better understand what we are about to do. I will bring the browser onto the screen and open the developer tools. After reloading the page, we can see the JavaScript object that the JSON data variable holds. Now I will loop through this object, fetch the country names and display them as option tags inside the country select menu. Ok, let's do this. Now to loop through an object, we use a for in loop. With a for in loop, we can fetch the properties of an object, in our case, the country names. Inside the loop, I will append an option tag to the out variable and set the current country as its value and text. Finally, I will target the country's drop down and set its inner HTML property to the out variable. Now let's go back to the browser and reload the page. As expected, we see the countries from our JSON file displayed in the first select menu. Nice. Ok, the next step is to write a function to display the cities when we select a country. To achieve this, I will add an onChange event listener to the country's drop-down menu. Every time we select a country, a function named getCities will be executed. So let's write the function. The first thing I will do inside the function is to retrieve the selected options value and store it in a variable named country. 
Next, I will validate the selected value. If the selected value is an empty string, I will disable the city's drop-down menu, display the first option tag with the text choose a city, and return false to stop the function from executing further. After validation, I will get the cities corresponding to the selected country by accessing the JSON data object and using the country variable as the key. I will store the result in a variable named cities. For example, if we select England, the cities variable will hold the array of English cities. Next, as I did in the previous function, I will create a variable named out and initialize it to an empty string. Then I will append to the out variable the first option tag with the text choose a city. After that, I will use a for off loop to iterate through the cities array and append each city as an option tag to the out variable. Finally, I will assign the out variable to the inner HTML property of the cities drop down menu and enable the drop down menu by setting its disabled property to false. Let's test this. I will select France in the first drop down menu and we see the cities of France appear in the second menu. If I select Germany, the corresponding cities are displayed. Nice. And that's it guys. Now, if you'd like to learn how to use JSON data with Charter.js, check out this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. See you in the next one.